Hi people, I'm sitting here in the pits, a uh, concert for Squareville, um, Tyrant Skull from Belgium. Can you introduce yourselves uh, member by member? So function in the band, uh, songwriter, yes or no? I'm UJ, I play the bass in the band and I'm from the beginning in the band and help uh, write songs. I am Esme. I am the singer of the band and I write the lyrics, but I don't write the music. And I am uh, Ronnie, I'm guitar player of the band and I'm in the band since the beginning. And we, uh, I do song songwriting in conjunction with bass player and drummer most of the times. So, to help people discover you, can you give a short biography of the band? Um. We started in 2007, as um, I was playing in a lot of uh, rock bands at the time. I stepped away from the metal, but in 2007, it, uh, the, the metal came back to the surface, so uh, I wrote some uh, songs in the vein of old uh, a Zerper and um, a Dead Witch from Sweden. I was uh, heavy into that bands. So I wrote some songs and I heard the UJ was looking for a, a doom metal band. No, a Zerper and Dead Witch are not <laughs> doom metal bands, but we gave, we gave it a shot. And Mark, our drummer, I knew him from my other bands. So uh, we started jamming with three of us. And uh, it came from then on. We actually started with three, then we did some shows with different singers because we didn't have a, a, a steady singer in the band. And at one of our shows, uh, as me, was at the show and she said, oh, your singer sucks, yeah, okay. we know, but he's not our singer, so if you can do it better, why don't you join us? And that came from that direction. So um, then as me started with the band. And since then we released, I think, three albums couple of tapes, I, that's it. I just want to say I never said your singer sucks. I said it didn't match the music. He's gonna hate me now. <laughs> no, he's not. I think he will be here tonight, so... Uh, <laughs> he can sing a song. He can, he can sing a song with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you re um, released the third album in 2018, so can you tell maybe a little bit about it? Uh, or also, you have uh, maybe new recordings already preparing or new songs you're already playing live? Yeah, the last album we recorded was The Machine Droning Vibrant from 2018. Uh, that album, then we played with two guitar players and there is a lot more melodic things going on and we uh, we um, evolved. evolved with the two guitar players as a more steady band, I think. The songs are more in the same flow of the band in comparison of the other two albums. And as for new songs, we have, I think, maybe 50 pieces of songs, but we haven't actually uh, started putting them together yet, so we're not playing any new songs live yet. No. Cool. Um, can you give direct influences of the band? Uh, also indirect influences. Direct influences will be like similar bands or like other metal bands or other rock bands. Uh, indirect influences like a horror movie, something that happens. So I am asking this to all of you. Mm -hmm. uh, Music-wise, I would say we started out as a, trying to be a dead witch, a surper band, but that changed into more doom stuff. And I would say more the traditional doom, like Reverend Bizarre, stuff like that, Lord Vicar, Saint Vitus, uh yeah, stuff like that, and sometimes heavy metal also. We put uh, crust music in it. There's everything 
you can find it from metal music or 70s music you name it you can find it in the music um, lyric wise I think it's mm, well we are very influenced by H.P. Lovecraft of course and uh, apart from that nightmares or just stuff that happens in real life we fuck it up a little bit <laughs> with uh, horror wise stuff so and further indirect influences I don't know. No, I don't think <laughs> you, you write a lyric, a lyric so uh, it's just uh, direct a lyric, uh, direct musical influences is from other bands. We listen to exactly like old school death metal and doom metal. That's about it. So <coughs> further spoken about the band, you have like a very original band name, uh, Tyrant's Call. So why you chose this band name, how you chose it, who chose it from you, uh, also why the K, so that's a, not that kind of spelling mistake, but you have the reason to have this K in the word call. Uh, I choose the name, I heard it in a song from uh, Satyricon, but it turned out it was something else, but I heard Tyrant's Call in it, <laughs> so... And since I'm a fan of the 80s music, I wanted to have like a connection with it. So um, we took the K instead of the C. Old school. Okay, nice to hear this. Uh, now I come to like a rather difficult question. Uh, I asked to everybody on my YouTube channel. So if you follow it, you will have seen it already. Suppose you're on a desert island, you don't have internet, no phone, no radio. You only have a record player or a CD player on batteries because you're on a desert island. Which three albums each one of you would listen to? So you can only choose three albums. Uh, that's quite easy for me. That would be Voivod, Angel Rat, St. Vitus V and Merciful Fate, Melissa. I'm <laughs> <laughs> still doubting. Three albums is so little. Um, an album of Battery, of course. Don't know which one. Uh, Venom. And... Uh, Catatonia, Brave Murder Day. Yeah. Difficult question. We have a lot of records, I think. So, uh, for me... Right now, Graveyard, Hissing and Blues. I really love that album. And then, oh, for the more old school stuff, uh, Burtum, something from Burtum. I really like Burtum. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Mayhem. <laughs> Mysteries Dom Satanas. They will go quite long. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So just to close the interview, maybe you have something to add, some special message to the people on the YouTube channel or on Metal to Infinity zine that uh, they have to also know about you. Um, also, you have a concert now in one hour or less than one hour with uh, Vona from the US. Um, maybe you have some s small expectations for this concert. Can you give some feedback on this? Yeah, well, it's been, uh, I think it's almost a year since our last gig, so uh, our expectations are uh, just going through the gig with no uh, big mistakes or uh, blood being spilled on stage or something. Uh, beer is no problem, but blood is, well, is, is definitely a problem, yeah. We're not black metal bands. You don't want blood to be spilled? No. Nope. Okay. Cthulhu isn't coming tonight. <laughs> Uh, I just uh, expect to have a real good time. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Welcome back. And um, Vano will kick ass as well, I'm sure. And apart from that, hail Satan. No. 
<laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Hail Satan, give some horns to the people, please. <laughs>